Welcome back to the Conscious Channel family. Glad you can join us. Today's video, we're going to talk about four qualities. I said four qualities of a successful person. Today's quote is brought to you by Walt Disney. All of, all of our dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Let's go. Out of the four qualities of a successful person, the first quality is sincerity. Sincerity is where you really are very sincere to your values and your beliefs. Your values and your beliefs are your foundations of what are what helps push you into the next dimension. Let me give you an example of sincerity. Um, when someone is being sincere, you'll know it by their actions. Uh, I, I always said that sometimes words never really held as much as actions did when it comes to certain things. For a better description of being sincere, you, I would have to say like when someone says, hey, let's have lunch or dinner and never takes the action to actually set up the lunch or dinner or to contact you to see where you like to go to eat, things of that nature. So you, you know this, you, you are able to judge the sincerity of an individual. I'll leave with my closing remarks regarding sincerity. Sincerity is one that when you're sincere, a person feels like they can count on you. They know that if you say that you're going to do something, you're going to do it. So that's a good attribute to have as a, a successful person. Another quality that successful people have is personal integrity. Personal integrity and sincerity have some of the same similarities with regards to the values and beliefs that one holds. Uh, but there's a little bit difference about personal integrity that I want to speak more to. Personal integrity, in a sense, is one of those things where you identify with yourself that this is where I stand, this is what I believe, and this is the actions as far as I'm willing to go. Other than that, I will stand my, my ground firm regardless, regardless if people like it or not. Here are my closing thoughts on personal integrity. I think Malcolm X said it best when he said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that is the foundation really of personal integrity, being able to stand when it's not comfortable or easy, standing for success when people don't want it. I hesitated on putting this one on her family, but I figured we needed to discuss it. And it's good judgment. I think good judgment, um, is something that everybody has to have. I mean, you're not always going to be right, but you have to be able to learn from your mistakes or what I call lesson learned in life. And I think with the lessons learned, I think that's really a driver of just your paying attention to your instinct, listening to your gut. You know, people say, man, I should li listen to my gut on that one because I knew better or I knew I could have chosen different. Uh, but I ignored that feeling that I had. And don't get so paralyzed by not making a good decision that you're hoping to always make that great decision. And you may not make that great decision, but it's what you learn from it to be able to apply it to making a better decision. Next. If you want to be make good judgments, you're just going to have to make more decisions. And making more decisions, it forces you to be able to understand which decision to make at an appropriate time. But you have to be able to put yourself in positions that forces you to have to make a decision in life. Here's my thoughts on good judgment. As you continue to maneuver and navigate through life, remember that you always have options. And options are what creates good judgment. In order to be able to, to create judge, good judgment, you have to be fearless in making your decisions in life. Now, where would I be without this last quality? High-minded, you know, the channel is driven around the mind, building up the mind, the body, as well as de creating the foundation for the overall being of your, your, your mind, body, and soul. So we'll get into this one. High-minded has a lot of things. I guess you know what these four qualities really is are driven around a lot of to do with values and beliefs. And high-minded means applying yourself 
to everything you do, commit a commitment of true excellence. Let's look at it from um, this perspective. High-minded also has to do with your compassion for being generous or wanting to be an individual that shows com empathy and sympathy for people by helping them out and growing with them. I think also when you think about high-minded people, you really just know when someone is high-minded. I mean, it's not a guess. It's not something that you have to put pieces together to figure out. It's really you can just tell the way that they carry their self, the way that they interact with you, just their personality. Here are my lasting thoughts or closing th remarks on high-minded. Being high-minded is something that is a belief within yourself believing and having the courage to know that in order to be successful you have to be driven and ambitious i'm glad you enjoyed the content today click the subscribe button right now follow us on twitter at conscious the number three this channel was built for educational purposes so i can learn from you and you can learn from me and we can learn together remember stay determined stay healthy stay mindful and stay disciplined this has been conscious